What's up guys, DJ Don Juan here again. And today, today's gonna be like a small game review of Cyber Dimension Neptunia for Goddesses Online. So, what can I say about this game? It's actually, I actually give it a seven and a half. Because, let's go around this area. So you have NPCs, there are pictures of NPCs right here that you can interact with, sort of. Uh, the way you can interact with them is if they have like an exclamation point above their head, like right here, up here. And then it'll tell like a little short story. Some of them, most of them are actually pretty cool. Um, but most of them actually, or sorry, this is a bad review. So some of them have a voiced dialogue in the stories when you're interacting with these characters, but some the other half, like, doesn't. So let's go to these areas real quick. First off, let's start with the bulletin board. So this is the online portion of the game. You can create a room, search a room, create a room, you can invite friends and all that good stuff. Search a room, you can just basically search a room. Like, you can play with friends, but the thing is, once the mission is just done, you end up leaving the room, which I kind of find weird. <clears throat> but, it's, I guess it's one thing the developers were going for, I guess. Um, the P Pierre's Emporium. This is where you're gonna buy most of your HP potions, SP, and a bunch of other stuff for your party. And then you can buy weapons here. These, I think, are the starting weapons. This is for Neptune. Oh, let me do this. Neptune, Noir, uh, Blonde, Vert, uh, Nepgear, Uni, Ram, sorry, or no, yeah, that's Ram, and this is Ram. So tank, tank, healer, uh, pretty much, Vert is pretty much like Red Mage, think of it that way. And then, what is it, uh, Nepgear is basically like Black Mage from Final Fantasy. Thief. This time they have guns. I've never seen a thief with a gun before, I guess. Uh, samurai, which is Rom, or this is Uni. Rom, which is a samurai, and of course, Ram, which is ninja. There's also other stuff like armor and stuff as well for each character. And then there's also costumes. These are all for specified, uh, Characters and then you can also accessorize your characters as well Most of them are the same thing though, and you can only get one of them then there's XP boost gems uh, and uh, I, don't, I don't know what this is exactly it increases bells. I guess that's the currency looks like bells is actually the currency which I have a hundred eleven thousand plus these are materials to either make weapons or upgrade your weapons and then that's about it here okay chaos factory this is and these characters right here are actually i think in the other games the one beside the pink haired one is iffy or if uh i don't know what game she's been in i know she's been in one of them though uh, this is actually like my I haven't played this for a while. I haven't played the other Neptunia games either, so I just rarely know the characters. So that's the brown haired one is uh, If. And the pink haired one is Kampa, I think. And then these are also boost items, boosting stats, and all that. Um, it's created. These. <sighs> I can't talk right now, I'm so tired. Basically, these are like items that can help you in battle. Let's just say that. These are more weapons, and you can also upgrade these all as well. Let's see? What? These are also weapons as well. So, 
Then this is armor. You can buy all this armor for each individual character. So, see what else. That's it. In the gym shop. This is where you're gonna wanna go a lot of the time, every time you need to, because these will boost your stats uh, by a lot, but like 10%, 25%, like resistant to fire, ice, lightning, oh god, and wind. And these are, these will, the fire gym, ice gym, lightning gym, and wind gym will apply uh, what's it called? The fire, wind, ice, lightning element to your character, to a character's weapon, which will help them do elemental damage, I think. The rest are like HP, defense, elemental damage, strength, intelligence, SP. Basically, the, the first top ones, all the way down to down to almost the fire to where the wisdom gym is our stat boosting you want to get these a lot a lot basically all of them but you want to get these mainly these a lot you never know when you're gonna really run into a super super boss and it's just gonna kill you the guild we'll get to that in a second okay so Plutia the purple, the pink or purple haired one? I think it's purple. I'm colorblind, of course. I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, Plutia, she's from a, another dimension, as well as the one next to her, Pishi. They are both, uh, Plutia is Iris Heart, and I think Pishi, the one next to her, is Yellow Heart. They are. Basically, they're all CPUs or goddesses in what oh, in a world that's called game industry. These are more costumes and all. What is this? Huh. These are all more costumes for the characters and accessories and all that. Let's see. Yeah, these are all just costumes. And you can get hair for them. You can change their hair color. And the guild, the guild is where you accept missions. And I'm already on like guild rank seven. I'm nearly done with this, or almost. You start from one, of course, all the way to the end of, which is guild rank eight. Uh, and they're pretty easy from the beginning and then they get up to like six they get pretty difficult but as if you're like level like 80 something or whatever uh you'll do fine then this is where you're gonna upgrade your weapons and armor so let's see there's also goofy weapons too like a popsicle sword sweet unicorn uh sweet lollipop vanilla cone there's just a lot of them or a few here and there you have to have the materials though on the right to upgrade it though just because you need them and it makes sense um what else and the armor the same basic concept you need materials to upgrade armor like especially like oh uh, what is it what is it what is it? Um, I'm trying to find it. But like some, for the goddesses, you need like a red ring part. And I already have purple heart and white heart uh, pretty high. I just need black heart and green heart to be, I, I just need to upgrade these two right here. But this is where you're gonna upgrade your armor for each character right here. The, the cathedral. Is basically where you're gonna this is where you can boost your stats even more before battle so it goes all the way from you or you can choose a random effect just because it's zero I did that at first and it was I don't know it was just something so you can raise your HP SP strength defense intelligence HP and defense strength and intelligence 
uh, by 10, 15, 10, 25, 20, whatever percentage there is. And the gallery, um, this is basically where all the pictures that you unlock the, from the game are. But I am not going to go through any of them because they're so weird at times. Um, but this is also where you save, so... But hey, if you want to check out the gallery, get the game yourself and unlock it. I, I'm not going to go through that. So this is where you can play music, just here though. But I'm not going to play any of these due to potential copyright infringement. Or copyright claims. So, okay, let's go to the world map. These little dots right here that you see. Right here. Here. This is the starting town, by the way. Here, 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 here. Just everywhere you see these little dots are the places you go to to do the missions. So let's see. Oh, and on the bottom left, you can see the characters. As you can see, I'm playing as Neptune. That's Paladin, which is also a tank. Uh, let's see, Alf Plains. Let's show you how these guys, uh, show you how to play this. Okay. So, as you can see, this is the whole field, but, let's see, it's basically a dungeon crawler game, I forgot to mention that, but, like, you go through dungeons just whacking stuff with, like, a sword or whatever, what's going on here? Okay, so basically, say, this is a dogu from the anime, or from the games in general. You can switch targets by moving the right analog stick from right to left. See? See? And then you use square to attack. Bam! I'm just too high level to show most of the skills, I think. But you can get skill. You also develop skills for the characters. Where, like, you. like this. See? And then, oh jeez, thanks. Awesome, Noir. Um, but anyways. Okay, that was X. X is to jump, of course. See? Sim and sometimes they'll just say random stuff when they jump too. Like boing and like a kangaroo. Um, what else? Just a lot of stuff they'll say when if you have them jump. Like a lot of like if they block, if you counter when an enemy's about to attack you right at the last second, hit block and they'll counter. Sometimes they'll say like swing or some other stuff. It's kind of funny, but I was like, I was like, all right. Um, so basically, oh, how you gather materials. So I think I did it earlier. So you inspect, when you see something like this right here, <clears throat> right here, just walk up to it, inspect. Sometimes though with the controls, sometimes you end up walking in circles. Let me see, let me try. You just have to get right on top of it. But yeah. Sometimes you'll end up walking in circles, but that's fine. It's nothing too of, too bad. So basically, this dungeon is the beginning dungeon. Which, it doesn't really look like a dungeon, but anyways. Uh, you'll put sometimes find chest as well. Like, even locked chest. Like, those are secret chests you can open with a key. They're, like, green or emerald. They're just... They have some pretty good stuff in it. And there's like enemies everywhere, so you won't be missing out on a lot of experience. This is to the boss, so I'll show you that real quick. So this guy, he wasn't the starting boss, it was a giant dog goo. But like, basically, you're gonna wanna attack him until basically you kill him. So, you just, yeah. It's simple, it's real simple when you're like a high level. Um, but you do get 
gets parts from them like uh, the monster equipment as you, as you can see in like the small chat log right there or and the sharpened claw but uh, and then once you beat the boss you just exit the dungeon and go back to town and you end up back in town literally um, what else can I show you guys without spoiling so much you guys want this if you guys want to play this game with friends or whatever, it's pretty good. But I did, the reason I gave it a 7, a seven out of 10, or 7.5 out of 10, was because I did find myself getting bored of it at times. Because it was just the same repeating missions of pretty much the same thing. You have to turn in items. Like some of the missions you have to turn in face a lot of, beat up a lot of monsters, turn in, beat up a lot of monsters, fight the boss, turn in missions, beat up a lot of monsters again, fight the boss. This just keeps repeating pretty much all the way through. See? I, that's the reason I found myself getting kind of bored of it at times. Um, but I did find myself coming back to it at times as well. Well, I don't know. Sorry, I'm very tired. I woke up at like 2 a.m. this morning and I'm just very tired. I think that's all I can show for now. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let me show you the characters. Okay, so Neptune, of course, is the main character. Noir is blonde, uni, Okay, mm -hmm. Neptune. Hold on, let me switch. Okay, so Neptune is like the main character of the whole series, the games, the anime, everything basically. But she does have her friends Noir, Blonde, and Bert. And they're all called CPUs. Like, and they're also, but they're also called goddesses. And in this world called game industry which I think is basically supposed to represent the game industry in real life like Neptune is supposed to be like the what is supposed to be like the supposed Sega Neptune for which was called this ne Sega ne Saturn I think sorry and then Noir though that's what Neptune is supposed to re represent Noir represents the PlayStation 3 when, and her place where she resides and takes leadership of is called La Station. Blonde is supposed to represent the Wii and her, her town she rules over is called Lo Wii. And yeah. Vert is, is leading over uh, her place called lean box which is supposed to represent the xbox 360 then only and then neptune's sister Nepgear is supposed to represent the uh something else sega something and then noir's sister uni she's supposed to represent the psp or ps vita i think Blonde sisters Ram and Ram are supposed are supposed to represent the Nintendo DS's or Nintendo DS. Both of them are. Then there's also the goddesses. I don't know what they're supposed to represent. I think just the same thing because they Purple Heart is Neptune when she transforms into her goddess form. Blackheart is Noir when she transforms into her goddess form. Whiteheart is obviously Blonde uh, when she transforms into her goddess form. And Greenheart is Vert when she transforms into her goddess form. Um, Vert does not have a sister, but she looks at all the characters as younger sisters. She even torments <laughs> um, this one character in this game called a uh, bouquet and oh yeah also you get these guild cards right here and your stats will be the same as the characters they are or 
as you have the characters leveled up and all, they'll be the same level, ver and they'll all be the same. Oh yeah, this is the minstrel. Uh, what else? This guy, I don't, these guys I don't want to give away in case you guys want to play the game yourself. It's totally up to you. Um, I don't remember how much it is. I think it's like $39.99. I'm not sure. Oh, customize. Um, so costumes. This is where you're gonna, uh, change your look for the characters, basically. For all the characters, I think. You can also, you, like I said earlier, you can change their hair to silver, purple, whatever their color is. And the accessories. These are like things you can just put on top of their head. Um, okay. I see L2 zoom camera. Okay. There. So with this, you can just put gear on top of their head or anywhere. As you can see, nip net plush I don't know net plushy you can then put wings and stuff on them and all that good stuff if you want oh yeah the weapons you can see that so the weapons are like I said the goofy weapons are pretty are actually kind of powerful this is the popsicle sword uh, I saw that saw that this is the this is Vert's goofy weapon uh, it's basically an ice cream cone I think I don't know then this is Nep gears kind of like goofy weapon it's a candy cane then unis is basically a little pudding cone thing which is actually Neptune's oh god which is actually Neptune's uh, favorite snack if in case y'all didn't know then the sweet katana I think is just a pocky stick yeah, it is. If you don't know what Pockies are, they're freaking delicious little sticks of cream. They're like pretzels with chocolate on them, or uh, cre they're basically cream sticks made in Japan, or that you see in the animes. Uh, this is her goofy weapon. I forgot her name. Oh, Ram. It's right there. Uh, Ram and the goddesses they don't I don't know if they have like weird weapons I'm not sure but their weapons are actually this is the reason why I don't use them because they, they're pretty slow and I think their weapons are what slow them down I don't know but yeah that's this is where you can change the costumes and all oh what else but yeah see just if you unlock the costume then you can wear it so I think that's about it um, my like I said my first impression of this game was like a 7.5 or my first impression was like oh this is pretty cool but like I said I did find myself getting bored of it at times and then coming back to it once in a while but if you guys want to play this it's a good game for like when you're really bored, just put this on. Um, the only thing though is that on in the bulletin board, there aren't very many people on at all. Like, see? Nobody's on. So, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, nobody's on. So, it's the only problem with this game is that there aren't very many players playing it um, unless you find a community on your PlayStation 4 that has like four goddesses online just talk to people like hey want to play this game and all that sure but the thing is though you will be kicked from the party and sent back here to the beginning of searching for a room or creating a room. Um, I'm very tired. Uh, what else? I think that's it. 
Um, I don't want to spoil too much in case anybody wants to play this game. Um, I may live stream this game sometime next week. Uh, just to have a break from Final Fantasy X-2 for a little bit. And I'll get, I'll jump right back on Final Fantasy X-2. But, uh, yeah, that's my review of the game for Goddesses Online, Cy or Cyber Dimension Neptunia. There are... What? There are other games like Hyper Dimension... I think... Hyper Dimension Neptunia 7, I believe. And then... I think that's it. And then, I think there's a VR one as well. I'm not sure, but look that up on YouTube. You can interact with the characters. Like... Like, with the VR helmet. <laughs> oh. But some of the interact, like a lot of the interaction when the VR one is pretty funny and kind of weird at times. But uh, that's all I got for today in this review. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you check out the game if you want. Uh, if you want me to live stream this game one day, smack the like button and. If we do get enough likes, I will live stream it this, uh, but just, I don't know. Just hit, this, just hit the like button and I'll live stream it. I'll play as the goddesses if you guys want to. Um, yeah, so hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.